Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Techs here. Have you ever found that your water cooler just seems a little bit too warm and you wish you could cool it down even more so you could possibly overclock it a little bit more and maybe make the processor last a little bit longer by keeping it cooler? Well, in this video, what we're gonna do is super cool it. And when I say super cool it, we're gonna add an extra three fans to this X73 Kraken NZXT water cooler. And what we're gonna do is basically, as I said, add the three fans on there in a push-pull configuration. So there's gonna be six fans cooling this down and we're going to basically see if it performs much better than if it just had the three fans on that in theory six fans are better than three but uh Will it actually make much of a difference in reality? If you are interested in purchasing one of these coolers or the fans, you can find links in the description just below and you'll also be able to find out the prices on that as well if you're interested in purchasing. Are you looking for a great networking solution? Well, Tender has it all. Finding your BT router no longer has the power? Then try one of these from Tender. Hell yeah! Is the Wi-Fi on your laptop not working and you need a discreet solution? Well then get this from Tender. Hell yeah! Finding the kids can't get Wi-Fi in the bedroom and they're making your life miserable? Well you need to get one of these from Tender. Oh hell yeah! Looking for a low cost solution to get internet into your home office? Then you need to get some of these from Tender. Hell yeah! For all your networking needs, trust Tender. Hell yeah! Okay, so we've got the water cooler set up with the three extra fans in a push-pull configuration, which basically means these fans on this side, the white ones, are sucking air in, and these ones are pulling air out. And we've actually found that temperature-wise, believe it or not, the liquid, or at least uh, what's in the tubes and within the radiator, has dropped by about five degrees since we added the extra three fans. On top of that, the actual CPU is, seems to be running quite a bit cooler. It's actually running roughly high 50s, low 60 degrees instead of high 60 degrees. Again, this is why we've got the CPU overclocked. So you can actually see that it's actually performing pretty well. And as you can see, the other three fans going on this side here. And then you've got those three fans there. And as soon as we disconnect those, you will actually see a big difference. Generally, we're finding that the longer the actual all six fans have been running, the better or the bigger the difference uh, in the long run. So for example, if you run the test for 30 minutes, you'll find that there's only a two, three degree difference. But if you start running the test for like an hour and a half, two hours, the temperature difference gets greater. So down to testing. First of all, the test setup, the machine is exactly the same for all tests. Same components, same software, same drivers, same updates. We're also disconnected from the internet, so there's nothing what's going to interfere. And on top of that, we close all background tasks, and between each test, the machine gets a fresh restart, just in case. Full specifications are in the description below, but in basics, it's a 10700KF Intel processor with a Z. 490 motherboard, 16 gig of memory, and so forth. All testing is done with fan speed set at 50% or 100%. We do not use auto mode because this can skew the results, obviously, because if the CPU is getting hot, the fans will then go faster, hence cooling it down more and giving us inaccurate results. So all testing is done at 50% and 100% speed. Okay, so down to testing results. The Z73 with the extra fans on is the one what's marked as Z73, six fans at the bottom right of the graph. As you can see, it came in at 22 degrees, which is pretty much the same as all the others. This is the idle test though. This is where the CPU is not doing ever anything. The machine is just basically sitting there uh, in rest mode is the best way of putting it with a fan running at 50% speed. And the room temperature is 18 and a half degrees Celsius. And this is the sort of temperatures you tend to get on coolers in idle. On this next test, we load the processor to 100% load, which means, basically means that all cores on the processor are running flat out, non-stop, for 30 minutes, while the fan speeds are running at 50%. As you can see, the Intel stock cooler barely managed to uh, keep it cool, running at 94 degrees, where the 
Z73 with the six fans comes in at 52 degrees. Only three degrees difference though between the free, van ver free fan version and the six fan version. So only a little bit of a difference there. So on this next test we do basically the same thing again but the actual fan is running at 100% speed as well as the machine working flat out. And now as you can see here we've done the testing and there is only actually a 2 degree difference between the Z73 standard and the one with the 6 fans. Bear in mind this is just running the machine for 30 minutes so there is a difference but very little. Bear in mind the noise level is a lot higher about five decibels louder when you've got six fans running flat out. Okay, so here we overclock the processor to 5.1 gigahertz. This in turn creates more heat for the CPU, which takes more to cool it down. As you can see, the Intel stock cooler was unable to keep up. It just too much heat. The standard Z73 run at 66 degrees, which is pretty good. But when we added those extra three fans, it actually dropped the temperature by a total of 8 degrees down to 58 degrees Celsius, which is very, very good. Again, this is on a 30-minute test. We did run some testing for an hour and a half, and the difference was actually around about anywhere between 8 and 10 degrees difference. So basically, the longer the actual testing has been going on and the more heat is actually produced the more of a difference you'll actually see so if you're wanting real high performance let's just say you do a lot of editing or a lot of overclocking or cpu bound gaming then this may be the way for you so all you're doing really is spending another let's just say 30 40 pounds to add extra fans to something you've already got as long as you've got the room then you're basically managing to cool your cpu cpu down quite a bit so yeah so it's something to definitely look into, and I must admit, I've also tried this using a Threadripper, the 24-core 48 Thread version, the 3960X, uh, and that also does cool that down by around about 12 to 14 degrees Celsius, which does make a huge difference and also allows us to overclock it even higher than normal.